As an ANSYS partner since 1984, we are highly committed to helping you design, simulate, and succeed. Hello, everyone. Today, we'll be talking about how to perform restarts in ANSYS Mechanical. A restart analysis allows you to start from a previously solved substep. There are several use cases for restarts. One is solving multiple load cases with a common first load step. Another is executing post-processing commands without having to fully resolve the model. And finally, the use case we'll be focusing on today is troubleshooting non-convergence. Now, one example of a model where you may need to troubleshoot convergence is a nonlinear buckling problem. This slide, as well as the example I'm about to show, come from DRD's ANSYS Mechanical Nonlinear Structural Simulation course. This graph illustrates the force versus deflection curve from a buckling problem. As you increase the load, you eventually come to a point where the slope of the force versus deflection curve is zero. At this point, the model becomes numerically unstable. And I'll show you how to use restarts as well as stabilization energy to solve a buckling problem beyond this limit point. This is a section of a curved tank that's fixed around its perimeter and has a pressure ramped on one side. As we ramp this pressure up, we expect that if the pressure gets high enough, then this uh, section of the tank will snap through from this top face being concave to being convex. And this is inherently a buckling problem. Now, if I want to set up restart controls, I can go into analysis settings, scroll down, and restarts are generated automatically by default as long as your model does not fully solve. But if I want more control over that, I can set it to generate 10 equally spaced restart points. Now I'm going to go ahead and solve this model, fully expecting that it won't be able to converge to the end. And that's exactly what we see here. It looks like we solve for a little bit more than 50% of the load. And you can see as we come to the point where the uh, section of the tank flattens out, we get to that numerical instability and we're unable to solve any further. Now to get past this point, we're gonna use something called stabilization energy. So stabilization energy can be found in analysis settings under nonlinear controls. I can turn that on here. And what this does is when the solver sees uh, large changes in displacement from one substep to the next, it damps those out. Um, so you want to use as low of an energy dissipation ratio as you can while still achieving convergence because this is an artificial energy dissipation that we're applying to the model. And then in order to not have to solve from the very beginning and use this, this stabilization energy for the entire analysis, uh, we can scroll up to the top of our analysis settings and we'll see this option to use a restart point. Now I'm gonna choose the second from the last restart point to make sure we're a little bit away from that numerical instability when we start up the solve. And you'll also see when I select that, there's now a little pause symbol next to solution in the tree, indicating that if I, if I now click the solve button, I will be starting uh, from a restart point. So when I click solve, you'll see we're starting from about 54% of the way through the model. And then if this converges, we'll see some information telling us that the solution was executed using restart information. And in this case, we were able to fully solve the model. So here you can see the model going through that numerical instability, that snap through. The top face goes from concave to convex. So that's how to use restarts in ANSYS Mechanical. If you're interested in taking DRD's nonlinear structural simulation course, or if you want more information in general, please click the link in the description below. Contact us today to discuss your unique physics challenges and find the right ANSYS tools for you.